Hello once again, and we're going to have a game of Ghostbusters for the PC. And this is a remake of the original 1984 classic, the game. And obviously based on the original 1984 film, which was also a classic. Great film. So, let's get into the game. So here we are, we have a, a menu. So an options menu, we can start the game, enter an account. If you played a previous game and you make more money before before your previous game, well, you know, maybe more money. <laughs> Refund your keys. Now that's something you don't really see in a PC game. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have the QAOP space. In Ghostbait, we're gonna use Enter, because it's right next to my finger, so that's a, a great keyboard layout I think you can adjust the difficulty so training is like as you will see and I will explain during the game but easy we're going to choose easy um, instructions tells you about the game you can pause the video if you want to look at that and obviously quit to windows um, this game came out in 2006 ignore that um, as I said, it was based on the original Ghostbusters game that came out for the 8-bit systems. So let's get straight on with the game. So here we can choose our car. So we can have the Compact, which is a Volkswagen Beetle, uh, a 1963 hearse. No, it's not the Ghostbuster cars. I'm not going into that again. Um, even though it's painted up to be a Ghostbuster car, but you ain't bought it yet. But <laughs> I'm not going into it, so we can buy the station wagon. Obviously, the good thing about that car, you can carry more stuff, but it costs more than the hearse. And the high performance car, which is the fastest and the most expensive, but it doesn't carry as much as the station wagon. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pick the, the 963 hearse. So push space, and here you can choose um, additional stuff to catch ghosts with. So obviously the PK detector. Um, so then we have the Im image intensifier, marshmallow detector. We'll come back to the ghosts later or in a minute. Ghost bait, ghost vacuum. Can't afford that. The portable containment system. Basically, you don't have to keep going back to Ghostbusters every time you run out of traps. So obviously, the more money you make, it's worth having. So we're going to buy some ghost. We're going to fill the car up so that's all we can that's all we can take so our car's loaded to the maximum so we've got five still got 500 5500 yeah 55 dollars right so we're going to go eight and start the game so we see we can see it's got a 3d environment look to it now and here when I said in the game the car driving is boring, they've made it a little bit more ooh, like that, a little bit more interesting. So you can dodge oncoming traffic. Like I ain't not doing a very good job. I've already hit two cars, so I probably lost my no claims bonus. So here we are, we're gonna catch some ghosts. So you can quite clearly see that is Slimer. So what I do, position my men. So they're like that, so it makes it easy to catch. But if you're right there, you can just push. And a nice little bit of sample speech there from the movie. So as I said, yeah, it's got a 3D environment to, to it now. So if you go over these, stop the energy, stop the ghosts. But with this version, the ghosts don't stop. They do stop, but they just get stunned until you leave it for a minute, they start moving again. But, it's good. So here, we usually would go down the street, you can't do that. So you, what you've got to do is push in the direction where the building is and push fire. But we see a flashing building, so we go and go there instead. And also with the car bit, there's a ghost, we suck them up. You can, you actually, you can actually go faster and slower so you've got control of the speed as well as left and right and sucking up the ghost is a little bit more challenging now Ooh. 
But pretty much the ghost catching bit, it's pretty much the same. Obviously the graphics are better. Oh god. And obviously silent speech from the film. So as I say, we're going to try that um, pink flashing building over there. So move in the direction, because you can't go down that road. And here we go. So say the driving bit. If you put it on training mode, you don't get no oncoming traffic. And obviously the harder the setting, you get more traffic. And it gets a little bit more difficult. And you do start off with less money in the uh, harder versions. Harder if you push the harder setting. So let's go here. So basically, this is a free download. And for a free download, I think the game is very good. You know, even if I pay the same, like a little bit of money, it'd still be worth playing, I think. Or worth the money, but not, you know, not a stupid amount of money. But maybe like a couple of quid. Because it's based on an old game, and the graphics, Looks like they could have been done on like sort of Commodore Amiga graphics. I think they could have got away with that on a Commodore Amiga, I think. Um, but it's still a good game to play. Gameplay still there. Music sounds great. As I say, we got that. Um, oh, what can I do? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we get that rock version, rock version of Ghostbusters. It is done by a real band. I can't remember who done it or fan. I did it. I have got it. Not I haven't got it, but I did have the information. It does come with the information, but now I just totally forgot. I don't know the sim game, but it sounds pretty good. Obviously this game isn't in widescreen because it was made in standard um, uh, full screen. Uh, you can play it in widescreen but it's like if you play an old old game it stretches the image out and I don't like that. So I thought I'd play it in its original form. Yeah, I do like this driving bit now. I mean, it was pretty tedious in the original games. But now, gave okay, it a little something to do. I think that's good what they did. Oh! Let's so say I've reviewed this. I originally had this, I will go back to Ghostbusters. So I ain't got no tracks left. Yeah, originally had this on the Amstrad CPC 464. Um, yeah, I enjoyed playing it. Um, played it on the Commodore 64, had it on the Commodore 64. Now, I thought that was the best version of the 8 bits, was the Commodore 64 version. And it was the original version and all. That and the, I think the Atari, the Atari um, 8 bit computer. They were the first, could be wrong. ZX Spectrum was there, I had the Ghana ZX Spectrum version, even played the Atari 2600 version. Done reviews on all of them. I've done two, oh fuck, done two for the Amtrak TTC 464s, the tape version and the disc version. Um, yeah, I mean, they had their faults, but they're still good games to play. And it misses. Uh, remake of the classic, and I've yeah, and they've done a very very good job keeping the original gameplay and adding some very good touches. I will put a link if you do want to download this game and play it. I will put a link into the description box so you can do that if you want. 
I'm sure you won't be disappointed if you're a fan of the original game. Ooh, fucking hell, you do. I like the way you can um, lose money every time you crash. No, nothing there. So it does come to a point in this game like now, it does get a little bit boring where you've got to wait for something to happen. It does this with all the versions I've played. I suppose in some ways it gives you a little bit of a break and a breather. So let's go here. Get a variant also with the ghosts, which is good. Come on. Oh no! Fuck it. <laughs> He's slimy. Also says that in the Commodore 64 version, that's what is. Obviously, when they when you catch a ghost, all I think all the versions go Ghostbusters. So let's go back to Ghostbusters headquarters. There's just not a lot to do because we did. You do lose a man when you um, when you get slimed, but you're not losing, but he's just incapacitated or something like that. Whatever you want to say. So go to Ghostbusters, re refreshes everything. Even, um, empties your um, traps every time you go. Yeah, it's not a lot to do now, so we've just got to wait for a call. Obviously the only building you can't go to till the end of the game is Zul. Let's do, do some reviewing to this game then. So graphically, yeah, I think the graphics do its job. It serves its purpose. It's not supposed to um, be overly graphical. It's supposed to stay faithful to the original game. And I think it's perfect. I think it's great. Um, sounds are pretty good. Pretty mainly sampled speech, but it works. I honestly think it's a good version. I like it. Especially what they've done with the driving part, they've made it a little bit, well, say a little bit, and made it more of a challenge. Oh, fucking hell. Definitely lost my no claims bonus there.
so uh, bollocks. Got it. <laughs> oh, we've got another call. Yep, and the gameplay, well, still is good. So I think, well, obviously the gameplay is a little bit better now because we've got this more to do on the driving part. Where the original game was a little bit tedious on the driving part. Slimer again. Ghostbusters. Oh, ah, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Just disappeared. Must have been a ghost car. So, you see these ghosts here. Um, right, let's check out that pink flashing building. Um, so every time one gets to um, Zool, the PK energy goes up by 100 uh, points or whatever. Until it gets to 9999, if you've made more money than you started with, you go and face the part of Marshmallow Man by having to get through a door to close the portal. But that happens right at the end of the game. $400 and also you get marshmallow attacks so you've got to be ready to either push whatever key you designate it's usually the B key but I've chosen it to be the enter key on this occasion or as it says in the computer the return key which a return key was also like the enter key on some computers right let's go to this one maybe a call So I've noticed that all these roads seem to be one-way streets. <laughs> be interesting if you had cars trying to uh, had to overtake cars as well. But there you go. You can't make everything. You can't you can't knock it because it is a free game. You can't knock it in any way. Yeah, and people might say to me, "Oh yeah, but you knocked Bridget. That was a free game." Yeah, but the difference was. Bridget was shit. This was based on an original, like a classic game. And a classic film. Bridget was just made by someone, by someone that had no experience with computer games by the sounds of it. dollars ain't a lot for a ghost sometimes in the 8-bit versions you can get up to about a thousand dollars not a thousand a hundred yeah a thousand dollars not talking about catching ghosts uh, probably best to start off as an easy maybe training it's a lot it is the easiest training you don't get no oncoming traffic the ghosts move a lot slower on the actual when you're catching them. Oh shit! Ah, oh, all that money I lost. So I had to head on. Come 
on over. Come on. Yeah, also we see on the map a key and a gate. That's the key mar gatekeeper and the key master. So they do nothing, they just roam around the map. Um, until the end of the game, they until the when the PK energy reaches 9999, they meet up and that's when you go to Zul to face the Marshmallow Man. And that'll be at the end of the game. As I said before, it depends if you made enough, made more money than you started with. Pretty much achievable. As long as you keep catching ghosts like this, you'll be alright. You have no traps left, so we'll go back to Ghostbusters. Okay, it's just around the corner. going on at the moment so you can see at the top of the screen we get rolling messages top tells you your bank balance and um, the PK energy bottom tells you how many traps you've got left and um, how many men are active backup power Oh, we got one. We got one! Oh. Ooh. You don't get no money for sucking up these ghosts though, by the way. Said something else then. Hmm, right, let's go to this pink one down here. Took my own eyes off the screen there. Oh! Right, got oh, cool. Oh, bloody hell, why did I move? Come on, what the hell? Slime her back and we got it. Okay. Oh, we've got one down the bottom.
Ooh. Oh, I missed that one. You can slow down and speed up, but I just tend to um, just keep going just flat out. Could have got him there, I think. Ah, fuck it! <laughs> uh, there's nothing going on, let's go back to Ghostbusters as it's only a couple of blocks away. Oh, fucking hell. Come on, where's it got? Oh, let's check this one out over here. Catch the ghosts, they go quick as they go straight in. They move where they um, where they stopped from and before you hit them right, it's one at the top. Come on! Oh, oh bloody hell. I was going to say, it could be a bit unresponsive because I am running this game through another emulator. Um, so this ain't actually running on my PC, it's running on a virtual PC in my PC, if you know what I mean. Come on down. The price is right. Gotcha. Yeah, $400. So how much we've got? 1,100. Doing alright for money. As I say, I've had enough practice goes on this game. I've done plenty of reviews on it on various 8 bit systems. Let's check this place out. just to recharge everything just in case things go a bit crazy towards the game but more calls so it's best to be prepared These pink ones could be a ghost. Not always the case. Oh. oh yes there is. The game does do this. Goes a bit boring. Oh, here we go. 
until something happens. I suppose it might be a good idea if nothing does happen, just go for a drive and try and collect your five dollars. Every, I mean, it all adds, adds up in the end, doesn't it? Unless you don't, unless you don't get any cars on the way. like a red slimer. Come on. Gotcha. Where am I up here? So what's the PK? Not even 2000 yet. Oh, I can see this being a long game been playing it half hour already. Ah, let's sit down here, let's have a look. Let's just go back to Ghostbusters, there's not a lot to do. Got one! Going straight to Zool. I've stopped it. Oh, I've got one. Convenient, right where I was. Oh! So it's good so that they can alternate their alternate speeches there. Oh, he's going. Oh, he's gone as well. Maybe I should have changed the difficulty level. Maybe I put it on a little bit harder. I don't know. Fucking 
two into the other way. Fucking done that too soon. Shit, let's just go about the Ghostbusters. Getting a little bit impatient now. Oh! Right. I think the ghosts are getting a little bit quicker now. What's the PK Energy 2? In 2000. But the PK Energy does get faster and faster as the game goes on. Freeze. Now let's check this one out. Let's do one first. Ah, oh, shit. Other old are all gonna move. Oh, now they're all moving. Oh, let's fucking go before. Oh, we've got another call after this, and all. Ooh. I've been getting, getting a bit lucky here. You have no traps, so I've got to go back to Ghostbusters. Right, we're on our way. Ah, oh, shit. Check this place out. Maybe a ghost, who knows? Worth checking out. Something to do. Oh, 
this with a red slime. Gotcha! This one out. PK energy is 2461, bloody hell. This game is going very slow. Right, we've got a call. Let's go and get it. Oh, it's gone. Fuckers. Right, as for that, we go back to Ghostbusters. So I think what the cars are will come towards you are cars that you can choose in the game, but different colours. Still nothing going on. Oh, there we go. That was convenient. Ghost, who knows? Going on again. Let's go back to those. But oh no, we go here. Oh no, it's gone already. Bloody hell! It flashed for a little while. Yeah. Let's just 
drive around. It's good for the stage, it's getting a bit boring now. Oh no, I didn't go nowhere, that's why. Oh, there might be one over here. Oh, that was lucky. Probably would have smashed straight into that. Ah, uh, bottles do it. Come on, over. No, you ain't coming over, are you, bastard? Look that in, perhaps you might. My backup, my backup, at the time you got this, your backup energy goes down. But he needs to come over, he ain't coming over. Here we go, he might have to. Nah, no okay, choice. I have to go back to Ghostbusters, my energy's being right down now, get it charged up. One. You can even, yeah, anywhere in the buildings, you can come from the side as well, sort of the front and the back.
300 pKa energy. Oh. So, I, thought, I think this is going to be the longest review I've done on a Ghostbusters game. I've got a feeling about that. I think the highest one was just over an hour. One. Oh shit! And that was the Amstrad um, disc version. Shortest review I did was the, I think it was the Commodore 64 version. That game ran quite quick. But I think this depends on it, what on the setting you've got it on. Obviously, the hardest might be a more intense game. Oh, I chose it on easy. I should have put it on medium. I think. But the ghosts are starting to move a lot quicker now. Right, let's go up here. Nothing. Bollocks. Notice the key master and the gatekeeper are sort of running around now. Gotcha! Oh, I could go back to Ghostbusters. Don't have no tracks left. Luckily, conveniently, he's just down the road. Oh, 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 fuck it now. That was close. Gotcha, straight away. Oh, they are, man, they have got quicker, they just accelerated. Right, might be a possibility of a marshmallow, no, it might be a marshmallow attack, but now that one's just gone. Right, let's try over here now really are rapid. Oh, and I uh, got it just in time. That, that, yeah. Oh, now the game is getting spicy. Now the game is getting intense. <laughs> oh. That's why it's convenient to have the enter button, no, the ghost bait button, because you just push it over without taking the keys off the QAOP in space. Gotcha. Oh, look at them go. They are rapid. Oh, 
Last man on attack. Right, marshmallow alert, so why ain't nothing happening? Don't tell me the game's crashed. Yeah, I've dead the marshmallow. What's happened? Has the game crashed? After all this, and the game's crashed. I don't know what I did. I must have paused it somehow, I don't know. Oh! The game is all pretty good, so I'm glad it didn't crash because that would have fucked the game up. And this pointless would have been this review would have been pretty pointless. Well it is anyway, but I don't care. I'll just do it. I just wasted that ghost bait, I didn't want to do that. Because you do, I think in this version also. You are limited to how much ghost bait you get and we're almost going to be near enough at that point we're going to be going to Zul or Goza. Oh! So this could be, this could be it. I think I made enough money. So I'm going straight to straight to Zool now. So this is it. You must get two busters past Marshmallow Man to reach the final battle. Shoot them. Yeah, we all know. Fucking hell! What the size of that? This ain't gonna be easy, is it? Fuck here now. That ain't gonna be easy at all. Good try, but you failed to close the port with the spirit rail as always taken over your city. So I've got an account. So I've made 2,490, 24,290 rather, and it's game over. Yeah, I have to say, that was a good version. I quite enjoyed it. And it took just under an hour to play. Anyway, yes, definitely I would check it out if you was a big fan of the game, especially the original. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.